Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to get to the FTB Infinity Evolved mod pack using the new FTB launcher. We're going to be going over the entire process of getting FTB Infinity Evolved all on the new FTB launcher. Now that FTB is no longer available on Twitch, you have to do things a bit differently to get the FTB launcher installed and basically get the FTB mod packs installed. So we're going to be going over every single step of that today. First and foremost, though, we do have a Mesmer Bar sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible 24-hour DNOS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you are looking for a great Minecraft server running, FTB Infinity Evolved. You can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible Minecraft server. You can set up FTB Infinity Evolved on that server with just a few clicks. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get the FTB Infinity Evolved mod pack installed on our computer. So to do that, you want to go here. Basically, this is the second link down below. And this is going to take you to FTB's website until they unveil their new website. When they do unveil their new website, it will take you to our website because we're going to show you a new tutorial on how to get this launcher and everything like that on our website. But until then, it will take you here, or you just want to click on this green download windows button. When you click on that, it will download in the bottom left. You shouldn't need to keep the file. However, on Mozilla Firefox, you may need to save the file. It is 100% to do so as long as it says FTB Launcher in the title. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser. On my desktop here, I have the FTB Launcher. If this isn't on your desktop, no worries. It's in your downloads folder. And to find that, click the little Windows icon in the top left for me. Bottom left of your screen, click that little Windows icon in the top left. Type in Downloads, right like so. You'll then have this Downloads File folder in Windows. Click on that, and then you will find FTB Launcher in here. Drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Once the FTB Launcher is on your desktop, just double click on it and then it will go through, download, and start the process of installing everything it needs to install. After, of course, you do click apply here and you do just want to click apply. There's nothing more you need to do. Just click apply and then there you go. It's going to go ahead, download, do some things. It's going to take a second, but it's going to be pretty quick to open up the FTB launcher here. Now once you're here, the first thing I actually want to do is click on options. You're going to need to add more RAM to your mod pack. Now I'm going to go a bit crazy here and add like 8 gigs, but really and truly you should be okay with 4 to 6 gigs of RAM here. But again, I'm going to go insane with 8 gigs of RAM. Because why not? I have it. I can use it. If you want more information on adding RAM to your mod pack, you can check it out in the description down below. Specifically, how to add RAM to Minecraft, but that'll tell you how much RAM you can afford to add. For example, if you have 8 gigs of RAM on your computer and add 8 gigs here, it's just not going to work. So nevertheless, once you've done that, we can click on FTB Mod Packs. And over here, we just need to scroll down until we find FTB Infinity Evolved. That's all we need to do. And then once we do find FTB Infinity Evolved, there it is. As you can see, FTB Infinity Evolved. This is an older mod pack these days, isn't it? Kind of crazy. It's still as popular as it is. But nevertheless, scroll down, find FTB Infinity Evolved, click on it. And then we need to come down here to the bottom right and select a profile. Now, you won't have like this Nix Games here or any profiles. What you need to do is click on Create Profile. And then in here, you're going to type in the username and password of your Minecraft account. This is what you log in to the normal Minecraft launcher with. That's what needs to go here, right? Just the normal username and password that you use on the normal Minecraft launcher or Minecraft.net. Once you've typed that in, click Add. And then down here in the bottom right, you will be able to select your profile. In my case, that's Nix Games. Yours will be your username or your email, click on that, and then click on Launch. At this point, FTB Infinity Evolved is going to, as you can see up here, download the mod pack. It's going to go through, it's going to download everything, it's going to get everything set up, and it's going to take a minute to do that. It means downloading gigs of, you know, files there and tons and tons and tons of stuff and configs and mods and everything that it needs to do to run this mod pack, but eventually it will open up the Minecraft launcher, right? It's gonna take some time to do that. As you can see, it's downloading more files. You thought it was down downloading? No, it's still downloading files. It is going to take a minute, but eventually it will open up Minecraft and start loading that. However, when it opens up Minecraft, you guessed it, it's going to take a while. So let's close the launcher. Now it's in the process of opening up Minecraft. There it is, opening up Minecraft here. God, it went full screen, didn't it? That is quite insane, quite insane. I will uh, drag this kind of into the screen here when I can, but it looks like it's not going to allow me to do that. By the way, if it goes non-responding, don't worry about it. It's kind of supposed to do that. It's perfectly fine. All right, there we go. Kind of drag this into the screen a little bit. But um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do a quick jump cut here until this is done loading up. It literally could take minutes to get loaded up. And by minutes, I mean like 30 minutes to get loaded up. So let it do that. Let it load up. And then once it is finally done, I will see you after a quick jump cut to uh, prove that it is fact up and running. And show you the FTB Infinity Evolved mod pack just a little bit.
So here we are on the FTB Infinity Evolved main menu. I'm going to resize this just a hair. That way we can truly see the whole screen because it was just, uh, it's kind of overwhelming there. But here we are on the FTB Infinity Evolved mod pack main menu. We can go ahead and click on single player. As you can see, oh, we need to select biomes of plenty. So what we need to do here is um, once you're in here, you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it, you know, test world. I don't know. I'm also going to make it creative. You don't have to do that. But what's important here is clicking on more world options. Then under world type over here, clicking until you see biomes of plenty. See that? That is what it was warning you about. That's what you need to do. Come over here and click biomes of plenty under world type. Click done and then just create your world. Now I'm going to do another jump cut here because whenever it's generating the world, it kind of likes to lag my audio a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do another quick jump cut. And then once the world's loaded up, we will be all complete and 100% done. There we go. We are now all loaded in. And uh, I don't think there's anything denying that we are in a mod pack. We've got the mystical magenta flower here. We've got, um, what is this over here? We've got ourselves some... Violet, which is I'm pretty sure new to a modded Minecraft here, or specifically this mod pack. But more importantly, if we just oh, we've got some oil spills over there. But if we check our inventory, we do have world domination with open blocks. We have materials in you, which is going to be Tinker's Construct. We've got some apples, and then most importantly, we've got the quest book, which if we left click on it here, it's basically going to get you through all of the different quests and things you can do in FTB Infinity involved. As you can see, there's 226 quests total. So uh, more than enough to kind of keep you occupied and everything like that. So yeah, there you have it. That is how you can get to Quest and get started with everything. And um, enjoy. Enjoy the FTB Infinity Evolved Mod Pack. A mod pack that's been around for a long time. I actually think I may have had a Let's Play on this. Or did I have it on Ultimate? FTB Ultimate. There's, there's a lot of FTB mod packs. and get confusing, but nevertheless, enjoy. What is this? What is this over here? We've got like a... Really cool biome setup as well. Anyway, I keep getting distracted. Thank you all so, so much for watching. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Enjoy FTB, Infinity Evolved, and I am out. Peace.